thank to my beloved lecturer, Madam Malani and friends. We would like to thank our lecturer for giving us the opportunity to be here today. Before we begin, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Daniela, son of Das, together with Puvan, son of Arsu. And dear fellow friends, do you ever wonder why people keep saying how important it is to travel? What's all this fuss about? Why do people travel and love traveling? Today on this auspicious occasion, we would like to talk about six best places to visit in Asia. Before that, let me explain a few facts about traveling. Traveling stands for the actions or activity of going from one place to another, typically over a distance, some length. Traveling changes you physically and psychologically. Traveling the world can benefit us a lot such as improving our health, letting us disconnect from our daily life, making us smarter, improving our understanding of other cultures and letting us create lifetime memories. My own travel experience has proven that there is nothing more exhilarating than exploring new destinations. Travel has taught me that getting into the world can change your life in the best, most unexpected way. We all have our reasons to travel. Explore with the reckless and better and go wherever the winds blows them. For others, the thought of driving into unknowns can be scary. I believe that we should try, we should travel the world while we have the chance. If you are just starting to think about why you should travel or you are looking for reason to travel, then I am here to help. Here are the six best places to visit Asia. Dear friends, the first place we are going to talk about is Maltin. You have seen photos of Malti before. The picture so shows perfect private villas suspended all strictly blue waters, alabaster white sands, beaches, and spectacular sunset dipping into the horizons. The scenic beauty of Maldives is something to behold, some things you can't quite understand until you are there in person. Travelers seeking relaxation and unwind one of the islands, spas, and all of visitors should certainly spend a day exploring the Maldivian capital of Nim. The best time to visit Maldives is from November to April. The island nation is warm and sunny year around, but consists of dry seasons and rainy seasons. The Maldives has been an Islamic nation since 12 centuries. With this rich heritage, you will find religious traditions and entrance in the culture. Most thought, the capital of Maya, you will see some men and women dressed in very cultivative attire. Should you wish to visit a mosque, you should dress accordingly. However, be aware that some mosques are close to non-Muslims. Be respectful by lowering your voice and not walking in front of them who are praying. Other than that, cuisine. In the Maldives, relieve heavily on the religion's survival ingredients, which means the seafood. Coconut and scratches feature prominently in many dishes. Tuna, wahoo, and mani, mani mai are a few of the fish you can expect to find on minas in the Maldives. Other popular dishes in the Maldives including samosa, curries, and spicy fried fish. I have just discussed the best destination to visit is Malta. Dear friends, I will now move on to my second best destination to visit, which is Agra. Towards Taj Mahal, this famous monument has immortalized the law of an emperor and his wife since its completion in 1648. After humanizing the monate Mughal architecture style, the Taj Mahal has made jaw troughs and heart wound for centuries. However, you are wrong to consider Agra just one stop shop. With two additional UNESCO World Heritage Sites to its name, the city boards multiply its windows into the parks. The best time to visit Agra is from November through February. That's because this long winter since daily temperature ranking from 70s to the low 80s. While price and tourist volumes will be high, you will be avoid heavy rains and unbreadable heat presence during the springs and summer months. Agra sites welcome thousands of tourists each year, and the city residents have learned to capitalize on the traffic. It very important when in Agra to exercise caution is very easy to undertake an advantage of scam and in some cases assaulted. It best to trust only officials representative by here, including those working at attraction, train station or your hotel. India cuisine is, is was to say the least the country cookbook is composed of national uh, favorites heard around the world, things curry, tikka masala and naan, as well as a plenty of lesser known regional favorites to put things into perspective. India is composed of 29 states, each is which is equipped with its own cooking techniques and delicacies. I have just discussed the best destination to visit, which is Agra. Dear friends, I will now move on to my third best destination to visit, which is Phuket. Pure white sands, aquamarine waters, and limestones drapes away travelers who visit Thailand's southwestern islands of Phuket, surrounded by Andaman Sea and about an hour by plane from Bangkok. This island is a little piece of paradise which comes with a relatively low price tag for everything from its accommodations to spa treatments and board too. Thai is the official language of Thailand and its islands, Phuket, 
but you'll find the most tourist operators speak proficient English. Still, you might want to carry along the Thai phrase book just to be safe. Some phrases you might want to memorize, including Hello, Sawadi, how are you? Sabadi you and thank you. Kuk kun ma. The best time to visit Phuket is between November and April. When weather conditions are ideal for beach activities such as swimming and boating. Furthermore, Phuket cuisine is an extension of the culinary delights found on the mainland. Tom Yam Gu, Sum Tang and Green Curry are all mainstays on the menus in Phuket. For and Upscale style experienced visitors should book a table at Tong Di Katu Bisare, which earns high marks among the recent travelers for its friendly and accommodating staff and consistently delicious meals. I've just discussed the best destination to visit, which is Phuket. Now I call upon Puban, son of Arusu, to continue with our presentation. Thank you, Daniel Rasan of Das. I'm Puban, son of Arusu, 01DAP21F2014. Dear friends, I shall now move on to our fourth destination to visit, which is Bali. Bali is a synonym of heaven. Many travelers have never been to this Indonesian island. Yet the word Bali, on just wavering of the most fantastical landscape towering volcanoes wrapped in deep green canopy, sandy shores that fade into Turkish water and curving coastline has crowned a staggered pagodas. The best time to visit Bali is between April and October. The island is a dry season. Bali experience only two seasons the rainy season and the dry season. The lack of rain during the summer season makes Bali more comfortable to be beggars. Bali is a part of Indonesian for this reason, or the official language of this Indonesian. However, you will still hear Balinese being spoken by some locals. In terms of religion, Bali is unique among the Indonesian island, which is most Islamic. Bali cuisine is, big, is heavily Indonesian, with Chinese and Indian influences. In addition, the satay in Bali includes strip of chicken, pork, fish, or tofu, placed in skewers and grilled over hot flames. Economy sauce vary, but peanut and shrimp based, based sauces are common. When it comes to restaurant, experts and travelers recommend trying a variety. Many of the resorts features upscale dining, and the market through Bali offers fresh local fare and eateries along with post dish chop casual meals with a beautiful beach view. I have now discussed the best destination to visit, which is Bali. Dear friends, I shall now move on to our fifth best destination to visit, which is Singapore. Singapore is a miraculous site, particularly for travelers familiar with modern Asian metropolises. The city maintains as a remarkable balance of green space and skyscrapers, in addition of sustaining supplemental ethnic enclaves like Little India and Chinese. Chinatown. Singaporeans are determined and patriotic. They are proud of what they have achieved. But while the skylines accumulate, monumental peak, and true, Singapore's have not forgotten about their past or the importance of their natural surroundings. The best time to visit Singapore is anytime. The island nation experienced a warm, tropical climate year-round with a daily highlight of in the 80s. And with a steady stream of business travelers, the city hotels are seldom at a loss of occupants and maintain a reasonable high room rates. Diversity is Singapore's crowning jewel. Not only the 40% of Singapore's residents are born abroad, but the city states is the most religious, diverse country in the world. When exploring Singapore, it's not uncommon to find Chinese and Hindu temples as well as churches and mosques in one neighborhood. Various cultures, holidays, events and festivals are held and widely celebrated and for different ethnic groups throughout the year. Singapore is incomplete without a visit to the Auckland Centre for cheap and delicious street style eats. The best known hawker enclaves is Maxwell Food Centre, which is packed with most stops. Chicken rice is the one of the country's signature dish. Tin Thai version of recommend with a lot of chilies and sauce, soy sauce. I have now discussed the best destination to visit, which is Singapore. Dear friends, I shall now move on to our sixth destination to visit, which is Seoul. Seoul is categorized by stunning architectures, vibrant culture, and thriving economy. Seoul may seem like a blazing in the future, but South Koreans still also pass their rich heritage. Tucked between vast shopping district and lively nightlife zones are really of Seoul's history. Winds all into the old Seoul before the towers were of concrete and steel. The best time to visit Seoul are from May, March to May, and from September to November. 
when the weather is mild and travel expenses are low. Some Korean cultures is still deeply rooted with ancient Confucian principles, including a strong dedication to the family and society. Because of Koreans' respect to their patriarchy and system, family elders and ancestors are honored above all. To uphold Korean ethics, both to elders is greeting and allow them to priority seating on public transportation. A bow when meeting anyone else is customary. Showing down on handsick, a traditional Korean food, is a cultural experience you won't miss want to miss. Many Korean meals, including big ingredients like kimchi, spicy, fermented cabbage, or other vegetables, and gochang, fermented soybean, and red pepper paste, among other Korean flavors. So I've just discussed the best destination to visit, which is Seoul. My dear friends, today me and my partner has discussed the best places to visit in Asia. He had discussed the three best destinations to visit, which is Maldives, Accra, Phuket, and I had discussed the best destination to visit is Bali, Singapore, and Seoul. My dear friends, let me end our speech by quoting Andre Guy, who once said, Man cannot discover new oceans unless he is encouraged to lose a sight of the shore. With that, we end our presentation. Thank you. We would like to be happy to answer your question. If there is no question, once again, thank you for being with such a wonderful audience. It has been a great honor and pleasure for us to be here today. Thank you.